Hello everyone, it's Bobby K and today we'll be doing haunt build number two. First up, we got these guys out here a couple days ago. Uh, I didn't decide to do a haunt build setting them out here because it's not really anything. They were just both in the garage and my dad and I just put them up. But I'll show them right here. And my dad told me to set up a bunch of props that I think we're gonna be using in this vicinity right here. So I, I will go through what I kind of want for this section. Now, this year, this section is gonna be clowns. Uh, I was going to make it like a catacomb kind of thing with like Mr. Dark, Nightcrawler, Hauntress, and then obviously a whole bunch of spiders. But I decided against that idea because my dad kind of convinced me out of it because we kind of need to settle with the clowns because there's so flipping many of them. We kind of need to, to kind of condense them as much as possible. And over here, this garage is not as big. So we're definitely going to use this area for clowns. And I think, so what I have in my head right now is the plans. So right here, I want bloody bag of jokes, a little pocket here. So there's gonna be a wall here, divider in the middle about, and then right here, bloody bag of jokes. As you probably know, last year we had Harriet hustle here and bloody bag of jokes over here on this side of the pocket. This year it's gonna be swapped just so we can differentiate it up as much as possible. Now you go this way and this hallway is way too thin to add any animatronics into. So then you turn, there's gonna be a wall right along that beam just like last year and Dark Jester on a swing is gonna hang there if possible. I don't know if there's gonna be enough room for him. He's broken right now. And as you can probably see by his dunce cap, right here is Dagger Mike. Now, I was questioning whether he'd fit here or not. That's why I actually brought him out here. Uh, I actually probably move Dagger Mike over there. <laughs> you can see through the, through the hole. But yeah, I probably will move Dagger Mike over there eventually because he's kind of in the way right now. But this is probably, hopefully, where I want to keep him. So we go through here and we turn. Now, I was thinking about putting Crouchy here, but that's too much wasted room because Crouchy's so huge. I think we're going to end up putting Wacky Mole in this corner and Clown on Silks in this corner. Sorry, my mom just got home. She's been on a, a business fly-in for the past couple days. And I just wanted to go say hi and welcome her back. So, yeah, I was thinking about putting Crouchy here, but that'd be too much of a waste of space. He's too massive. We wouldn't be able to fit anything else here. And then again, this is the only place in the whole entire garage where Clown on Stilts would be able to fit. So, Clown on Stilts right there and Wacky Mole right there. Gonna be chaotic. They are condensed. They are very dense. So then you go over here, like I said, uh, Harriet Hustle's gonna be over here hanging. Wall right there, you know. Then you go right here. Nothing's gonna be here because there's not really enough space. And right here, in 2020, as you probably do not know, is where we had Crouchy. Now Crouchy, this was, well, 2020, this was just a whole open room. This year, we're gonna have hallways like we did last year. Not gonna be able to go as far because Crouchy's massive and somehow Crouchy's able to sit under this little garage door. So uh, he's probably gonna back right up into that corner and then you turn and then over here. Well, actually Crouchy may not go there, but I think he, that's like the only spot we really can put him. So you go down this way, Henry Hustle. Yes, I have the tripod here. I'm ready to do the time lapse of Shaky Guy and Wacky Mold being set up. Uh, yeah, those are the two I'm setting up. And well, actually, in this corner, we can probably shove the Shaky Guy from Lowe's. I just call him Shaky Guy because that's what he is. He's the Jemmy Slumstar Star Aroma Clown. Yeah. All right. I can't set up Henry Hustle because he's in my grandma's house along with Peekaboo Clown. We really need to get them back here. And then you turn this way. This is my mom's car. She's back home. <laughs> All right, then we go down this way. 
think about peekaboo right here and go down over here uh, I was thinking hugs at the end but I think we ought to give hugs a break this year hugs have been so through so much four years of haunts and this year is the first year that I don't think we're gonna be able to use everything so I decided that we should probably put Twitching Clown right here since he was only new last year and he was sort of broken for the haunt last year. He's not been fixed yet, but he will be hopefully soon. We gotta get a new base for him. If anybody watching this has a Twitching Clown base, please email me so we can get that out to me. I need Twitching Clown base. Then you exit here. And if you're wondering about Thierry, screw Thierry, he's going in the graveyard. <laughs> Yuri, I'm sorry, I know you like the clowns, but you can't be with them every year. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I guess we can cut into a time lapse of Wacky Mole, and then maybe even Young Crouchy. I could set up Young Crouchy. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Probably, definitely Wacky Mole and the Shaky Dude, possibly Young Crouchy. All right, here we go. Okay, it's the next day, and I may have gone a bit overboard. <laughs> uh, I was planning on setting like three or four of them up. Well, eh, I might have gone a little bit overboard. Hi, Ghostface, I'm taller than you now. Ha ha, look at that. Ha 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 ha. See, with Hauntress, I'm taller than Hauntress, and I'm almost, I think almost, either the same height or a little bit taller than Wacky Mole. By the time I put them away this season, I will definitely be taller than him. I actually checked to see if I could use his base to fix Twitching Clown so we could actually use him this year. But it like it would work, but the only problem is that apparently Twitching Clown's poles are a little bit thinner and it wouldn't go on to Wacky's base. So that kind of sucks. Uh, I guess, hold on, let me think. I guess Looming Straw Man I could try, but then we can't use Looming Straw Man, which also sucks. But, yeah, uh, we just need a new base for him or just to weld his base, which we tried to last year. I don't know if I have, well, I don't have a picture, but I don't know if you guys saw the results of him last year after we welded his base, but, um, Let's just say he kind of did this. Did a Hauntress, but without a weight on her. Uh, also, I have Hauntress and Ghostface set up going forward. I don't know if they will be going for forward for Halloween. I don't even think we're going to use Ghostface in the haunt. I think we're probably going to use him in the front yard. And I think I am going to end up getting a, uh, a Scream 6 mask to go on him because of the new movies. So... Yes, I set up 10 over here. That's including Dagger Mike. I just moved him over here. Uh, and then I set this guy up outside with Predator of the Night and um, 12 foot skeleton. You can actually see him right now, right there. So that's him, but uh, he's not gonna stay there. Also, you may recall that he was super short He's not anymore. I got an extra pole for him. Uh, my mom and I were cleaning out the garage and she found like just a pole that looked like would be about his size and it had a spike on it. Now his original pole did not have any spike on it. So when you hit it into the ground, you would be like literally destroying the metal and it would be really hard to go in. So finally, we actually got a stake for him and it actually works like perfectly on it. She feels like it was made for him. Uh, whatever company made him probably also made whatever that original state came from, uh, which I think my mom said was some sort of Christmas tree. Here's Charles, <laughs> the werewolf. Uh, he's probably gonna go in the graveyard. I only set him up because sometimes I like to put stuff out in the graveyard just to get some reactions. Um, 
usually like Skelly Bones and Mr. Dark. Just to, I usually like to get the jump scare props just to get some good reactions, but I also like to put some other props in there. And then Headless Horseman, we kind of decided that we might actually leave him out because the only electronic part on him is the pumpkin. So I could probably cover all the empty stuff where water could get into down here in like clear tape or something and just rip it off after the fact. And then inside his mouth, I might have to do something as well. Uh, but I think that he's okay for staying outside as long as we get his pumpkin done appropriately. Though the only problem is he does not have any timer or anything. So I don't know if we just have to go out in there and turn him on every day or what. Uh, but then set up hearts and souls, hugs, Charles. Good old Chuck. Young Crunchy's down there. You can barely see him. So I have a time lapse cut off yesterday, by the way, uh, because my phone storage was not that great. And it just kind of stopped because of low storage. This dude, like you saw earlier, Wacky Mole, took a pretty funny picture with me and him yesterday. So I'll pop that up now. Is that embarrassing? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Headless Horseman. Chuck, good old Chuck, Hauntress, Ghostface, this guy, Mike, and as you saw before, set that guy out there up. Now, I would have set up a few more like uh, Henry Hustle and Peekaboo, but they are still at my grandma's house and I can't get to them. Well, because they're at my grandma's house. And I would have actually, I could set up the jumping spiders. Probably not though. The witch broom is just too small. All this stuff is too small. That guy's broken. That's the dark jester on swing. Uh, death crawlers just like, too small and stuff. That guy is a hanging prop. Uh, and we got nowhere to hang anything from. Harry Hustle, Rusty. I didn't set up any scarecrows because we will not need those until the day of, maybe the day before. Crouchy's way too tall to put out, or he's way too tall to fit in that area currently, um, two scoops, uh, two scoops too tall as well, Looming Strawman, uh, Looming Strawman, he just, well, Looming Strawman just is, um, whatchamacallit, he, uh, he's a scarecrow. Terry's too tall. Grave Watcher. I thought that she's too small and like delicate. Cause it, and, like if I put her out there, she would get trampled and break. So that's why I didn't set her up. Clown Stilts is too tall, and then that's an empty box. Behind me, there's some more scarecrows, I think. Oh, and then bloody bag of jokes. Jack Straw. That has like a creepy doll in it, and up here it has some uh some red and white cloth for the clown room. So and then Twitching Clown is broken, that's why I didn't set him up. And then all the stuff upstairs, I brought some of it down, like Hauntress and then him. And then the other stuff up there was like small stuff, like the Roaming Bear and Lost Lizzie. And then there's like Nightcrawler, which obviously I don't want to set Nightcrawler up in here. He's way too big. When I set Nightcrawler up, I want him to be in his spot and ready to go. Because I don't want to be moving Nightcrawler around. Nightcrawler's kind of delicate, too. His welds aren't the best, I'm going to say. Uh, but then, like, there were some others up there. Like, Abandoned Annie was up there. A Duffing Spider, I think. Couple of other things. Oh, Mr. Dark is up there. Uh, you know what? I probably could have set up Mr. Dark. Just kept him in his down position. And just attached the springs or something. Or just not even attached the springs to begin with. Not a, or not even started the part where he's gonna have to raise up. So yeah, could have done that, but I don't know. Also, I don't know, but I feel like Hugs' his latex is gonna start rotting soon. His nose is actually starting to get a lot more red and his latex does not feel how it used to feel. It's starting to feel more like, like dry and more smooth than it did. So, Hugs is definitely going to start to dry rot pretty soon, which absolutely sucks. See, like, 
I don't know, Hugs' head, I'm gonna have to keep inside. I don't care, maybe I won't keep the other heads inside, but Hugs, I gotta keep inside. He's already kinda bad, but we got him like that. I mean, it was 140 for him and Headless Horseman. Amazing deal, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so I don't think we're gonna do any more work on the haunt today because I am going to my grandmother's today. Uh, maybe we'll stop by like Lowe's or something. I'll get like a tour out for you guys, but I've gotten a tour of Lowe's, a tour of Home Depot, a tour of many tours of Spirit. I actually have a couple more, or at least one more Spirit tour that uh, still needs to be worked on, as in edited and stuff. Uh, well, you know, maybe we'll stop by somewhere. There's another Halloween place, uh, on, like, a main road near my grandma's, so we're gonna be heading there soon. It's called Spooky Town Halloween Superstore. That's where Colby got his zombie animatronic. You don't know what zombie animatronic I'm referring to, because he hasn't shown it on his channel yet. Or, you know what? He showed its box, I remember, on his collection video because he couldn't really like bring it out. But yeah, this is about it. And uh, I still don't wanna put Crouchy here, but yeah. Uh, yeah, also, by the way, about hugs, I know I said that we're not gonna use them maybe this year. Yeah, I kinda changed my mind. Hugs is too good. If his latex is gonna dry rot, I wanna get the most use out of him as possible until it does, or before it does because Hugs is too good to lose. His, his latex actually is like pretty thick latex. Maybe not at his chin, but like look at, look at that, I guess, kinda. Generally thick, probably like mask, like a mask almost. Can you pop your head out, sir? No, he, he came like that. I didn't even know it was a deformity. It kinda is, but it doesn't really look bad. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Let me just kind of zoom into Hauntress's eye, and that'll be the end of this, I guess. Huh. I'm going enough home. Let me zoom in. There we go. Bye.